Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon, and today we want to discuss six things to avoid in 2022 to be a better you. We have an onslaught on YouTube alone of many people who are fear mongers. Everything that they're talking about brings you into fear. Number one, we want to stay away from anyone whose narrative is primarily fear, 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 false prophecies about the end times. Friends, you got to be careful of these types of YouTubers primarily. And there are some that that spend their time the same on Facebook and other platforms. Their narrative is nothing but fear. We walk by faith, not by sight, and we trust our God is in control. This is the day the Lord has made, and we must choose to be glad and walk in it. Number two is gossip. Any person that is constantly dumping on you, gossip, their busy bodies, friends, you want to stay away from that because why you are engaged in gossip and, and these are busy bodies, we see this also a lot, plenteous on YouTube where many believers have simply turned their YouTube channels into the Hot Topics channel where you keep up with the latest news of celebrities, sports figures, um, other ministries, they, that is their ministry, which is nothing but gossip. They are nothing more than busybodies. And the Bible says, this is a sin, friends, to be a busybody, always talking about everybody else's problems and what they got going on, friends. Run from these channels. They're all over. These are believers, and they will bring you into that space, my friends. It's a waste of time. Number three, and this one is important. You got to forgive yourself in 2022 to be a better you. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to set goals and don't reach them. You're going to have bad days. Friends, listen, none of us is perfect. The only perfect one is the Lord Jesus Christ. You got to learn to give yourself a break to be a better you in 2022. How do you become your own best friends or excuse me, your own best friend if you uh, you willing to forgive everybody else but not yourself? Friend, you got to forgive yourself. You got to shake off what happened last week, yesterday, even this morning. Let it go. Choose in 2022 I am going to take care of myself. Self-care includes self-forgiveness. Number four, do not give up on your goals and your dreams. Whatever your goals are, some things, my friend, and I love this, this adage, this old cliche, Rome was not built in a day. Your goals take time. It takes practice. It takes perfecting the thing that you put your hand to your marriage your children whatever it is friend that has been your goal take your time give yourself a break allow yourself to make mistakes let god have his way daily with your praise and your worship and balance out yourself so that you my friend can run the distance but whatever you do don't give up on your goals number five do not stay yoked up with toxic people. Some people, friends, simply are not good for you to be yoked up where you are dealing with them on a regular basis. You know who they are. And yes, sometimes our own family, or I'm going to say our relatives, because family, you build a family. Once you grow, my friend, and you begin to see the treachery of other humans, this is why Jesus said that his family was those that do the will of God. That's who he considered his family. So we have to pattern our thoughts after our Lord and Savior. Your relatives may not be truly your family because your family look after you. They don't slander you. They don't put knives in your back. And friends, we have to stop feeling guilty when we have to cut ties from relatives not family, relatives, because you're family and you may only have one or two people that really care about you, my friend. And you will know this because they are concerned about what you're concerned about. They're not putting that knife and turning it in your back. Friend, how long can you take it? How much bleeding out can you do in your heart when you know that your relatives mean you harm? 
anyone that's constantly slandering you and talking about you behind your back, there is no relationships around you that's good because this person keeps all the mess going. Friends, get rid of them in 2022 to be a better you. You got to cut, cut, snip, snip. That's right. And last but not least, my friend, do not allow anyone or anything to keep wasting your time, your talent, or your treasure. Get involved with something that's moving. Get involved in something God has given you to put your hand to, my friend. Don't keep wasting time. When you have downtime, study your craft. Study the thing that you want to step into. Use your time wisely. Stay off the cell phone talking all the time, friends, because oftentimes it's nothing but a trap and a gateway to what? idle conversation. So you got to choose, my friend, how you're going to spend your time and talents in 2022 so you can become and you can keep moving towards your best you. And 2022 is a good year to do it. God bless you. I love you, my friends. Whatever you do, don't you give up. Don't you quit. You keep pressing to do what is right, not what is easy. I love you, my friend. Till next time, be encouraged.